This is example 1-3, dim dimension loop. This is example 1-3, dimensionality check. So the question here is the Reynolds number, RE, is a dimensionless number that indicates laminar versus turbulent flow. And there's the equation given. And so now we should verify that the Reynolds number is dimensionless. So what we'll do is we'll just look at all the, uh, the units for the different uh, parameters that we have there, and then we'll see if they all cancel out. So we'll start it out by just writing down what the different units are, right? So we can say the first one there is rho, which is density. And density, of course, is given in kilograms per meter cubed. Next one is U. That is a velocity of the flow. And a velocity is given in meters per second. Then the capital L is the characteristic length. And that uh, length, of course, would be then in meters. And then the viscosity, mu is the viscosity. And that is given in Newton times seconds divided by square meters. So now if we write down our equation here, our Reynolds number is rho times u times l over mu. So that would be kilograms per meter cubed times meters per second times meters divided by Newton times seconds divided by meters squared. Right? This is just plugging everything in. So now if we bring that you know, onto, the, onto a single uh, fraction, right? So we have kilogram, we have meters times meters, would be meters squared. And then we have another meter squared from down there. And then we have the meter cubed here. It's the only meter. meter cubed we have seconds but we have two times the second so we do second squared and then we have newtons all right so what can we do well we can combine the top there to be kilograms times meter cubed we can do meters cubed times second squared and then newton of course are just kilograms times meters divided by second squared. Mm -hmm. So that gives us kilograms times meter to the fourth divided by meter to the fourth. Right, that's the meter cubed here and there. The seconds cancel out times kilogram and of course here the terms all cancel out right you have kilogram meter meter to the fourth divided by meter to the fourth times kilogram so that's all equal to one so we can say from our dimensionality check that the Reynolds number is a unitless a dimensionless number all right so if we'd come out with a dimension here then it would not be dimensionless it would, ha would have whatever dimension we give there but we could show just by plugging in all the different units that in the end it is uh, dimensionless.